Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me for today's daily Oracle and Tarot card reading. And all this week, we'll be using the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms by Colette Baron Reed. And uh, let's get started with the reading. And this reading will be for Monday, June the 8th. And this is my birthday week, so it's a very, very interesting week it's going to be for me, I think. And I believe that your birthday is the start of your new year. That, that's how I look at it. I don't think that New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, the calendar year, is the beginning of your new year. I think it's from your birthday going through the following year of your birthday. That's how I see it. And as we shuffle the deck, I'm asking that all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And take a card. There we go. This one wants to come out. And we have the Hungry Ghosts, and another card, and we have Eyes of Beauty, and last card for Monday is the Winged Wise Ones. Okay, so we start Monday with the Hungry Ghosts, okay? And as you, I hope the camera's picking this up. It's kind of glare. Okay. With the hungry ghost, you see a person here in the middle. And uh, it's, it looks like a fairy type of person. And they're looking up, uh, kind of like up here where there's like some type of daybreak. Okay. And when I look at this card, what I get from spirit, the hungry ghosts, obsessions, Scarcity, consciousness, attachment. Yes, we can become very, very attached to people, places, and things in our lives to the point where we allow them to take control of us. Obsessions are a very, very common thing. On this Monday, you want to ask yourself, you know, what you're obsessed with. Is, a, is it a healthy attachment? Or is it something that is not for your highest good? Uh, this card here is it looks like they're up, you know, they're, they're looking upward towards the light. So that means they're like down on a lower level. It's like an obsession or something that could drag you down very easily. Um, and when I think of attachment too, um, sometimes it's easier said than done not to be attached to anyone or anything. Uh, this picture here is just... That, like I said, the fairies in this picture look like they're they're looking upward, like they wanna they wanna break away from this attachment or this obsession. They want freedom from it. Let's see how the other cards line up with this. And we have the eyes of beauty, and the eyes of beauty is saying positive expectations and clarity. Okay, when I look at her. What I get from spirit is she has like a very blank stare. She is surrounded by beautiful ferns and greenery. It's a very dark card. For me to think of positive expectations and but the card to be dark and it not necessarily be like a, a brightly colored card or something with yellow or blue in it. When I look at her and it's positive expectations, it's like the person in this card, to me, is trying to make themselves feel more positive about a situation. They're not exactly there because it's a very dark picture. Okay? They want to think positively of whatever it is that they're obsessed with or attached to. They want to think it's a positive thing in their life. They need some type of clarity, some type of answers as to why. Something like this could be occurring in their life. You know, what is it that leads them to be obsessed or attached to a person or something? Um, and this person needs clarity. They, they feel like they, you know, they don't want to carry this burden anymore. And the third card is the Winged Wised Ones. And what a beautiful card that is. And the Winged Wise One shows a beautiful woman on a pedestal. Okay, she has wings. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous card. Uh, she's perched there, 
and the card reads angelic help miraculous aid that lets me know that whatever it is that we're obsessed with or we're attached to all you have to do is ask your angels for help to get over it to get over a person like I said or a situation or something in your life that that is just dragging you down um, you know when we have these obsessions okay we're just like these hungry ghosts uh, these obsessions are, you know, we're looking to get out of this, this pit that they're down in here. They're looking up towards, like I said, the sunlight here and uh, expecting positive things. That puts you in the right frame of mind. Don't think that whatever it is that's dragging you down or, or you're attached to is going to always be that way. Think positive. Think of ways that you can overcome and do something about it. And of course, the most important thing is the angelic help is always on your side. And as I always say, the angels will not intervene in your situation unless you ask them to. This has been like last week has been such a, a week of me seeing triple digits. It's just like utterly amazing, just utterly amazing. And I know these are messages, you know, that are sent to me to let me know that I'm on the right path to let me know that what I'm doing is what's right for me, what's meant for me right now at this point in my life. And really, the, the angels could help you in situations that you can't figure out. Watch for the signs this Monday. Ask your angels for help. And when I think of miraculous help, I think of like uh, something was resolved in a way that you couldn't have imagined possible like a situation that you're stuck in that you can't think of how am I ever going to get out of this? How am I ever going to get over this? But believe me, miraculous means it's possible. When you, you, you don't think that you can take it one more day, something is going to work in your favor. You will have the angelic help and the miraculous help that you seek, but you have to seek it. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be back.